This soccer match looks normal. Two teams of kids kicking and chasing the ball, both looking for a victory. But on each team, you will find both Jewish and Arab children playing together. Usually in Israel, these kids are the ultimate other, sadly split by a situation that causes hate and fear. Today, the Arab children are guests at the Jewish children's home field. You can see the first signs of mutual respect. The first time, they even didn't look at each other. In the third time, they, they know the, the names, they said goodbye in the bus. Maybe in the tenth time, they even invite him to, to his house. The kids combine into mixed teams with both Jewish and Muslim kids on each. It breaks down barriers that separate them and opens a bridge to understanding, to friendship, and to a better future for all. A bridge to peace. Raz is an 11-year-old Jewish boy that met Ahmed, an Arab boy his own age. When you think about it, you realize that it's really important to know someone uh, really from inside, not from the outside. We talk, we laugh, and it's all good. I mean, it's not like you read newspapers. <laughs> I think it will be a great impact if uh, young children, like we see, saw today, will laugh together and play together. And uh, when they become adults, the, the feeling of hate and fear will disappear. We prepare the children for their meeting through informal educational activities that deal with stereotypes and promote tolerance and understanding. The highlight of the year's activity is the National Mixed Teams Tournament, where the winning team is by definition a mixed team of Arab and Jewish children. With partners like Cherish Our Children International and the Bridgeway Foundation, we have begun to make this vision a reality. In addition, we are working with the Anthony Robbins Foundation, currently developing a special project to create ties between Israeli and Palestinian children.